Hello, 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 and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Um, I thought that today I'd like to take you through some of my favourite things of the past month, so February's favourites, and I was going to take you through favourites in many different things, so I thought um, this has been my first year on YouTube. Woo! Cheers, Ray! <laughs> so I've done a whole year of YouTube, so I thought I'd do a little catch-up. It's a kooky catch-up. And I thought I would do my favourites of February so far. So we're going to start off with some of my favourite art supplies. Um, you're probably wondering what this raven is doing here. Well, uh, <laughs> This case holds um, my latest collection of pencils. Now, if anybody knows me, I am a pencil um, addict. <laughs> my name is Cookie. I am a pencil addict. So, yes. Uh, so this is my latest collection that I'm building up over time. I can't afford to buy everything all at once. And they are my Luminance Pencils by Karen Dash. So it's the Luminance 6901 and I am um, gradually building up my collection of these. I do apologise if the light's really woo at the minute. The sun's just come out on my desk and it's kind of um, very bright. <laughs> so yes, so what I did was I first of all got the um, set of 20 portrait pencils that came in a box and um, they're like a, a beautiful box, cardboard box, but really nicely packaged with really protective packaging in it. So that came with four extras. Now I do believe um, these were from Cult Pens and I will link into the description below where I get where I got all my things from. So yes, they were giving away the, the set of 20 portrait colors, which I don't know if that's actually in here it probably is yes yeah, a portrait assortment cult pens had one where they were giving away the portrait not giving away the portrait they were selling the portrait set and giving away four extra ones at the same time so i got that set and subsequently have bought lots of other singular ones i'm building it up um open stock because as much as I'd like to, I can't afford to get the whole lot all at once. So I'm building up my set. I think I'm halfway there now. I do believe, unless I'm wrong, unless they've added more in, that there's about 100 pencils and I've got about 54, I think, at last count. So recently I've been using these quite a lot. My beloved pencils, which were the Charisma Colour by Beryl, which were then subsequently, subsequently taken over by Sanford, and made in America, which then became Prismacolors. Um, I, I I mourned the loss of them stopping being made in England. Um, so I've been trying to replace, um, not replace them, but find a substitute for them because although I still have them, I am a pencil hoarder. <laughs> so I want, when I run out of them, when, when they finally hit the pan or whatever they call it when you run out of makeup when you hit pan and I've run out of them then I want to have a replacement ready to go and the closest ones that I've found and now it's a tie there's two um, so the luminance are one and then the Derwent coloring are they the Derwent no Derwent drawing pencils are another one the Derwent drawing pencils do not have a huge range of colors in them as lovely as they are. So this is my go-to. These um, retail at about three pounds sterling at the minute, so each, so they're, they're quite an expensive outlay, but I do like them. And as I say, I've got 54 of them and they're all going in this case for now. I've taken the ones out of the portrait set that I got and they've all gone on here with the other ones. So that's my first uh, favorite of February that I started. Um, obviously I started collecting these way back when but I've started using them majorly and I'll, I'll explain more about that later when they come on to my favourite other things I'm doing this month as well. So yeah, the Caran d'Ache 
Luminan 6901 pencils, which I will be getting um, the full set of over time. Halfway there, halfway to go. My next favourite art supply um, I got from Jackson's in the UK and it is the Jackson's Soft Pastels. Um, I have a love affair with <laughs> pastels. It's a love-hate affair because I love using them, absolutely adore pastels, soft pastels. Um, my problem is when it comes to um, making sure that they don't transfer <laughs> transfer into everything else that I do because um, I am a messy worker I must admit I especially when it gets to pastels I get them everywhere uh, but I've actually found that um, hairspray cheap hairspray from Tesco's is my friend so I've been using that as a fixative so it's been working quite well so I'll just show you um, what I got from Jackson's this month well February should I say because we're in March now Keep forgetting we've gone that far ahead. So these are the Jackson Soft Pastels, and I'm going to get messy here, but I don't care. I'm going to show you. They're really chunky boys, and they're really beautiful. And they are handmade soft pastels, and they come in a set varieties of numerous colours. They also come in sets that you can buy, and you can also get a set of um, I think it's fourteen. I'm sure it's yes 14 that you can pick your own colors which i did with this one so this is my set of 14 that i've picked and um, so these are the ones that i've chosen and i will be <laughs> i will be getting more of these because they are glorious if you'd like to see me uh, in another video uh, showing you some of these and swatching them out for you then please leave me a comment down below and i will show you what they look like um, I'll show you the little boxes I've got as well. So when you order them from Jackson's, they really pack them out nicely. So this was a dark carmine pink and a cold pink because I was into my pinks and purples phase. <laughs> For some reason this month, it's it's been one of those. And then I've got a violet pink, pure pink and light pink. And then I picked out another pink that <laughs> I hadn't got. So this is a rose purple, so it's not officially a pink. And then I bought some blues. Um, I haven't got any greens yet, so that's probably going to be my next purchase. Uh, but I got oranges and yellows and purples and and some blues. So yeah, that was from Jackson's. Uh, as I say, I will leave links to these down below in the description. So if you're interested and you want to have a look for yourself, that um, will be there for you. Jackson's Soft Pastels, another favourite for February. Okay, so the other things that I found super, super handy this month will be, let me just find it out of my, oh no, it's not that one. Where is it hiding? There we go. It is this, it is the Bicolor Caran Dash uh, 999. <laughs> Sounds a bit dangerous. Uh, 999 pencil. I love this. This is superb for drawing, sketching out things, um, doing the under sketch because you can pick and choose which one you use. And I like to sketch in colour pencil. Um, the reason I like this is because I have found that it is erasable. So if you want to kind of get rid of the marks when you've drawn, this will be a uh, an erasable pencil that you can use so that is definitely on my list of beautiful things that I have bought and that I will definitely uh, get more of I've got three of these one for each of my pencil cases now so I got three of those uh, the other thing that I got th those were from cult pens again by the way again I'm going to leave all the links down in the description so don't worry if you miss out where I got something from and you'd like to track it down because I will leave that in the description. Uh, the other thing that I got from Cult Pens was this beautiful long point automatic sharpener. Now the reason I've got this, I've got a 600 sharpeners people. I uh, <laughs> You might tell I've got kind of like a collector's nature. Well yes I do. So I've got 
oh so many this is a Derwent one I've got the Faber-Castell one I've got a Tagal one so yeah if you ever want to know all about my sharpener connection <laughs> hit me up I'll tell you all about my sharpeners um, this one is it's an automatic a long point so it puts a long point on your pencil which I quite like the look of um, it's a precision one as well so what I like about it is if you look on the side here you've got two little holes there and what you can do is once you've sharpened your pencil you can put those in there and get a sharp point just on the lead itself which I think is great I haven't actually tried it out yet but I'm, I will report back and let you know how I get on because I've been doing a little bit of research into these and there's this one and another one I haven't bought the other one I bought this one first to try it and see because it looks like it's um, quite a nice one because it's got this bit on the front where that holds all the sharpenings and I quite like that it keeps my pencil case nice and tidy so favorite art supply the automatic long point by KUM made in Germany and it tells you you shape the wood first and then you sharpen the lead and that's two points to that and they do different sizes I think there's different size hole pencils that you can work with there now the other thing that I've been really really enjoying and I'm going to have to stretch over to the other side of my studio for a second to grab said um, item and it is it's an old favorite I've, ha I've had these before but it's the uh, cardi paper it's handmade uh, cotton rag paper and it is glorious for painting on for mixed media um, it has quite a texture to it um, so if you were using it just for pencils I don't think that would be the best idea I'd probably go the Bristol Bristol board if I was going to do just pencil work but this I've found is great I don't know if you've seen me do my um, messy mandalas and I use these for that because they're a perfect shape and you can just go to town with the water media on that and it doesn't affect it um, or it and it enhances it because it's got these beautiful decal edges on the paper so that is another favorite for this month regarding my art supplies um, the other thing that I'm loving at the minute and I will show you I actually bought two because I bought one and then I liked the other one so I'll show the one that's wrapped up and it is the Talons Art Creation Sketchbooks this one is a 12 centimeter by 12 centimeter or 4.7 by 4.7 inches it's a square book and it says it will take sketch pencil charcoal chalk graphite crayon ink and watercolor so it will take all of those things uh, it's really good with gouache as well so I've used gouache in this and I was enjoying the other one so much which is this one here it's just got my stickers on <laughs> these are from Nightshades Nook by the way so if you like the little mushroom stickers pop over to Nightshades Nook I will leave a link down below um, but yeah loving this one and the reason that I love this I will explain to you in a second because that will be in another favourites of my February favorites so let me pop all these to one side put my pencil back precious pencil move out the cardi paper so the paper in this is it's not super super thick but it's fairly thick and I found there is no transfer when you're drawing on one side to the other side it doesn't transfer through so it takes it does inks really well um, yeah pencil colored pencils great in it uh, which is something that I'll come on to in a minute obviously showing you having shown you my luminance colored pencils I'll show you the reason well not the reason why I got them because <laughs> who needs a reason to buy pencils no one needs a reason pencils are an essential <laughs> so yeah so that's those that is the Royal Talons art creation book and it is um, 80 sheets so you get 160 if you're using both sides I don't use both sides I only use one side of it so it's 80 sheets in a book 
and that is those. Um, right, coming on to the reason <laughs> why I am enjoying the pencils and those books so much, and you probably saw a little snippet of them when I was showing you the sketchbook. I have been doing a Domestica course um, in February, and it is um, the Domestica Kawaii Drawing um, course, and I will leave a link to that down below as well. Um, and it is amazing. I'm so enjoying it. And um, I really have been making myself work on this by doing a hundred day challenge. I don't know if you on Instagram and you do the if you've seen the hundred day challenges. Well, I'm trying to commit to a hundred days of kawaii doodles, and I've been working on the course. Mm. And this comes on to another favourite. So the course is one of my favourites. I will link that down below. And another of my favourites. So we're coming on to books now. <laughs> the Drawing Books by Angela Nguyen. Nguyen, I think it is. I don't know if you can see that. Angela Nguyen. I can't pronounce it. Do apologise, Angela, if you're listening. <laughs> but when I was doing the course, I already had, I think I had three of these already, and I just went out and got the rest. Um, so it's the Kawaii um, Drawing Books. These are my books of the month, my uh, non-fiction books of the month, should I say. So yes, how to draw really cute food. And the pictures are great in that as well. I love this so much. It takes you step by step through different things. How to draw really cute fantasy creatures. And that is also stupendous and love it. How to draw more cute stuff from around the world. So this is themed towards countries. So you've got the Netherlands, you Spain many many countries i'm not going to show you all of it because um it wouldn't be fair to show you them in a close-up how to draw really cute stuff i think this was the first one and it's kind of like a plethora of different things that you could draw in a cute and kawaii way and then how to draw really cute animals so all of those are my february favorites in my non-fiction section of the moment and my fiction choice, I don't have one this month um, <laughs> for February. I have done, strangely for me, I have done very little reading, um, but I have been listening to an audible book while I've been working. And the audible books I've been listening to are um, spooky, <laughs> spooky kooky things. And I'm trying to remember the name. I think it's Nick Redfern. And it's Nick Redfern's uh, books on the men in black. And I've been scaring myself witless listening to those because um, lots of different uh, recollections from people about their encounters with the men in black. So that is my February recommendation. Uh, Nick Redfern writes a lot of things for a podcast that I listen to a lot of called Mysterious Universe. And that's how I encountered Nick Redfern's work. So I've been listening to those on Audible. So I have no written uh, book in front of me. It's something that I do when I'm working. I either listen to music or I listen to a podcast. So my podcast um, of the month, obviously, is Mysterious Universe. <laughs> Mysterious Universe is a couple of guys from Australia uh, called Ben and Aaron. And they have been going for so many years. It's been my favourite podcast um, since way back when. I've been listening to them for years now. And I sometimes put that on as well as the audio books and things in order to catch up on the mysterious goings on in the world. So that kind of links into my, uh, my uh, book choice on Audible. So that's it. So Set of Kawaii Drawing Books is my non-fiction choice, my fiction choice. Uh, well, it's not really fiction, is it? It's, it's also non-fiction. 
<laughs> so no I don't have a fiction choice of this this month but check back in for my March favourites because more than likely I've got a whole pile of books to go through so I will be having a fictional choice for then. My favourite YouTube channels for this month are three different ones that I've got at the moment. Natasha Newton, whose artwork is beautiful and I so admire how she um, puts together her pieces. She does beautiful little cottages and her colour choices are just superb. So Natasha Newton, I will link again down in the description. Um, my other YouTube channel choice for this month is Emma Carpenter, who is an illustrator and artist um, from the UK again, who is just fabulous to watch and um, um, quite hilarious on occasions. And I love watching her videos because she's just such a nice person as well. So uh, I will link that again down into the description. And the other person I've been watching is Dan Terrells, who is an art artist, I can't even speak, an artist. Um, and I've been watching his videos with great interest because it's just, he very rarely speaks in his videos, if ever. And it's just watching process and I adore that and that is so good. So I will link Dan's YouTube channel down below as well. My hands are doing all the talking. I have to put my face up here sometimes. It's just, I only have the one stand and if I want to flip it round and round, it's just going to be quite seasick. So um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see to that as we go along. Films and TV. Okay, so I have quite an eclectic um, palette when it comes to films and TV. So my favourite of um, February has to be uh, two series on Netflix that I have loved. Obviously, you know, from what I told you about my reading and my podcast choices, I quite like the spooky and the strange and the unusual. Uh, so both of my choices are those. One of them is, well, they're both fictional, but some of them are based on real life things as well. So the first choice I've got is Archive 81. Oh, my goodness, I got so into that that I binged the whole thing in um, a couple of days, basically. Every, every spare minute I got, I even downloaded it so that I could watch in my breaks at work so that I could, I could get through this because I just wanted to know what's happening next. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because it's one of those things, it's something that you have to see and experience in order to understand it. So Archive 81 on Netflix is my film, what well, TV choice, should I say? It's not a film, it's a series. Uh, I think there are eight um, episodes to the series. Correct me if I'm wrong. The other thing that I started watching and I haven't finished yet is the Shadow and Bone series. That is also on Netflix. I have the books that I still need to read, so they're in a pile. Um, will probably be in one of my fictional choices as we go along but Shadow and Bone so that I'm really really enjoying I'm superbly enjoying the fact that it's got Ben Barnes in it and I think he's quite attractive on the eye should I say to watch so I do like a bit of Ben Barnes uh, so yeah Shadow and Bone um, I don't think that the other thing that I'm watching at the minute would have figured in February so we'll leave that for next month so we'll uh, leave that out there. Um, things I have been listening to music wise, I am a big 80s electronic fan. So the fact that Tears for Fears brought out a new album had me jumping up and down with glee. So Tears for Fears, their new album, which is available on Spotify and I presume on Apple as well. And to buy as a CD or any other thing a way that you want to listen to music. So Tears for Fears, their new album. And I will also make a little selection of Spotify tunes that I've been enjoying this month. And I will link that down into my description below as well. So you've got a lot to go on here. There's lots of things that you can um, link into. And I hope you've enjoyed my February favourites. I will be doing this again at some point, obviously next month. If there's anything from my favourites that you'd like me to go in depth with, 
um, say you wanted to see the swatches of the pencils or you wanted to see swatches of the uh, pastels then I'm happy to do that so please do leave me a comment down below and um, thank you to the people who've been with me for a whole year so far I have loved every minute of it and I am looking forward to the next year and I've got loads and loads and loads of things that I want to show you and do with you and um, yeah thank you so much and thank you for uh, liking and subscribing and I have actually just made just over 200 subscribers so I'm, I'm over the moon thank you very much and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week this is a little extra video I will be back in again on Tuesday and Friday Tuesdays is usually a painting artwork um, video and the one on Friday is usually something to do with felt or fiber work so pop back and see me please like and subscribe and let's see how quickly we can get up to 300 subscribers I would be so wrapped if that happened in a month that would be amazing so thank you so much for listening and I will see you very soon ta-ta